So last time I checked, we were not currently, we being motorcycle riders, we're not currently at war with the four wheelers. Also, last time I checked, a three wheeler is not the byproduct of an unholy union between a motorcycle and a car. Let me just clarify, a motorcycle with three wheels is not a direct attack on your manhood or your motorcycle. If one more person pulls a gun and tries to shoot me while I'm riding this, ooh, man. This is the 2019 Nikon GT, and it actually came out, they actually kind of started showing videos and kind of promoting the bike in late in 2017, but they didn't actually start selling them until 2018. They made this in two colors, blue with gold forks and black with blue forks. And in 2020, they're coming out with a red and a gray model. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're looking at this bike and you're like, there's something off about it. What is that thing that's off about it? I thought the same thing. Cruise control. This is one of the first naked Street Fighter bikes that actually comes with cruise control and it's a killer feature. On top of the cruise control, the front end also looks like a giant spider and there's two wheels instead of one. If you guys have noticed in the past maybe 15 years, the import motorcycles have kind of gone, especially the sport bikes, have gone towards this bug shaped thing, you know, with the tail looking like a stinger, with the front looking some type of bug or a, you know, some like headlight thing. Almost, and mostly they were flying bugs. Well, with this bike, they went full on spider. That's why they call this the Yamaha Spider. Actually, they weren't able to call it the spider. I don't know if they even tried to call it the spider but they call it the Nike and actually means two swords, two tires. But it does look like a spider, doesn't it? Let's go over some of the features of this motorcycle. On top of the fact that when you call in, you buy new tires and you tell your parts guy two tires on the front, and he's gonna assume you made a mistake. Also has dual upside down forks. And you notice this is actually just for the rigidity because it's, this is like a single sided swing arm for both sides. This bike also has a perfect 50-50 balance. Electronically controlled throttle, slipper clutch, Quick shift, center stand, power port, fully adjustable rear suspension, and an Ackerman steering system, which allows the bike to lean while both wheels stay on the ground. So by now you're probably thinking, all that performance stuff on a beginner bike, that's kind of strange. That's because it's not a beginner bike. Nothing about this thing is a beginner bike. Just because it has three wheels does not mean it can't fall over. This is just like a motorcycle in where it can totally and completely fall over. It actually has a 45 degree lean angle and a 23 degree lean angle before you start dragging peg, which makes these pegs a wear item just as much as the tires are. With its 850 cc three cylinder, 115 horsepower, the same pretty much engine that they put in the uh, FC09, or the MT-09, this thing claims a zero to 60 of four seconds flat, which is pretty decent for a you know 600 pound motorcycle. So the first thing you notice when you first get on this bike, it's actually the handlebars are six inches wider. It's this much wider than, than a stock FC-07. The entire motorcycle, the widest part to widest part, which is up here, is a total of 42 inches wide. That makes this thing the widest motorcycle, the widest street bike that we've ever tested, knocking the Suzuki B-King to second place. Another thing that people really don't realize is how much taller it is from a regular bike. This is a 20, uh, 2015 uh, Yamaha FC07, uh, and it's gonna, the MT07 and the MT09 is gonna be very similar to this. This thing sits up a whole lot taller because you, have, you need so much more space for this Ackerman suspension that, that we got going on down there. It also makes the tank sit up higher and the seat sit up a whole lot higher. That's why a lot of short riders, you know, might have a hard time, you know, kind of tippy toeing the bike because it does sit up significantly higher than, than the standard bike. Now, this is not an attempt from Yamaha to, to create another trendy three-wheeler to try to, you know, get in on that upcoming three-wheeler market. It says Yamaha flexing their muscles and saying, what kind of cool stuff can we do with a motorcycle? And honestly, I want to see more of that stuff. I want to see more wild, cool, unique things coming out of these companies 
and not just going with the status quo and making everything faster, bigger, stronger, powerful, but just doing cool, wild stuff like this because we don't know what this is gonna, what this is gonna take us to. We don't know what, what technology might come out of this and might go to something that we ride every day. And I would like to give Yamaha a big, sarcastic thank you and a round of applause for not letting me test drive one of these things like a, two years ago when everyone else got to test drive them. None of the dealerships around me would let me test drive them or didn't have them, and neither would Yamaha let me. I had to go and buy one from the auction. This is actually the second one to ever get sold through an auction, and as of right now, this is only one of like 10 that's actually for sale in, in America. So the best way to find out about this bike, let's go take it for a spin. All right, guys, we decided to uh, go a little different spot, and I decided to take this thing to Mexico, Lancaster, Mexico. That's what people say when they take test drive stuff. So a couple cool things about this bike. One, it's got heated grips. This truly is a grand tour. Two, quick shift is amazing. You just throw it into the gear. It does all the work. I don't know why all bikes don't have quick shift. Another cool thing about this thing is that it just absorbs the bumps. Um, you know, some guys complain about you don't have enough feel. You got plenty of feel. It's got more, tra it's got more, it's not like a car where it, if it absorbs the bumps and you're not, you, it's not gonna perform as well. You've got plenty of, you know, traction. You've got double the, the, the traction. You know, I think what, what, what's going on is one tire kind of goes over the bump. The other tire, you know, kind of, has grip and then it switches on and off just because of you know unless you hit a big bump unless you hit a big line and both tires hit it but it's actually pretty cool and it feels great do my little roundabout now the the front end is big but to be honest with you, it's it's not. I don't think it's slow and turning. I think it feels pretty. It feels pretty quick. It feels fairly snappy. It is a large. It is a large front end though, but it is very smooth. It's incredibly smooth. A little bit of a lag, but nothing that I'm gonna. You know, it's not a super moto. So it took me a while to figure out how to turn traction control off. I did figure it out. It is the worst. And to be honest with you, this is kind of what Yamaha was going for when they made this bike. And a lot of people aren't talking about it. Even Yamaha kind of mentions it in their, in their promo ads, saying you get grip in all weather. It's freezing cold outside. I really don't have any grip. I'm okay with my back tire, you know, cutting traction. That's fun. I'm all about that. But when your front tire cuts traction, that's when things get really bad. Now, I think the braking is good. I mean, it's more than adequate. It's way better than a 1975 BMW R90. You know, I mean, it just feels like a normal, big, heavy, fairly heavy bike. I, I kind of, it could be, I, 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 I expected it to be better though, to be honest with you. I'm not complaining about it, but for some reason I thought it would be, because everything else is, you know, feels exactly like a no, another, you know, normal motorcycle. Acceleration is fast. You know, the handling is great. It does not feel like you got three wheels up there. It just feels a little bit slow, but you got more rubber on the ground, which is also a benefit because you have to double the contact patch. You're also gonna be changing your front tires out probably half as often. Also that, that, that twitchy throttle that everyone complained about. For the uh, for the FCO sevens and MTO nines, and I don't know if the MTO tens had it. I haven't ridden one yet. Um, not a thing. Not a thing with this. Pony, pony, pony. Oh, scared him. Didn't know that would happen. Tired of your boring two-wheeled motorcycle? Throw an extra wheel on that thing. The Yamaha Nikon. 
it's got three wheels, which is better. I'm still, I'm still a little nervous to really throw it in the corners. I know it's got the, I know it's got the grip, but it is freezing cold out here. We're in like the, it's not even in the 40s. It's probably in the 30s. But I'm definitely throwing it, throwing it in a whole lot more than what I normally would for just two wheels. You know, what, let's do zero to sixty real quick. This would be a great time to do it. There. Yeah, it wasn't the best. I've done better. Probably could do better. But honestly, I couldn't think of a better way to get out when it's cold, when the, when the road conditions are not 100% prime, and carve it up. The only thing I really got to get over is actually learning how to trust the bike for what it supposedly does very well. So I think the bike was really fun and attracts a lot of attention. The closest thing that it would be compared to is a regular motorcycle because it feels like one. Some people complain about the 45 degree lean angle and my response to that would be, what are you, Rossi? If, if you want to ride a super sport, go ride a super sport. I don't think that this bike will start a new trend in, you know, in three wheelers, but I think that it's one step closer for a mass produced Tomahawk Dodge Viper bike. And a bike this unique throughout the years, I think it's going to hold its value pretty well. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where are you going?